buying counter for middle. You can see here this middle location. We need to create a rain cutter in this location. For that, I just go to here beam. Then I just make it here. If you go to this profile, you can see here various profile. Which profile you want, you can use it. But I am going to use here for middle this profile and this dimension you can see here. If you want to change this dimension, you can by clicking here, you can change the dimension and you can apply and OK you will get it this profile. You can make changes this profile, market available size. Then apply and click OK. Here it is. I change here, rain gutter. Then you can use the material also. You can use any roofing material or market available material or you, as well your project standard, you have to use this material. And here I just change this class like this. Other all the thing keep as it is, then simply enter, then click the first point, then click the next point. This is the full length. Expand now, just place it like this. You will get it like this, but definitely this much length you never get rain gutter in market. You will get it maximum 12 meter or 6 meter only, you will get it. But once you get any length. You have to join this rain cutter. But I am creating full length. But when you create the project, you have to create as per your market available length only. You have to create, then you have to join it to rain cutter. Now I select this one, make it here 180 degree. So it will place like this. Now I just go to grid one view. For that, go to the view list. You can use Control I. Also, I select this con this view. Now you can see here what we created. Select this one. Right click, move, click this midpoint. You will get it midpoint here, and here it is midpoint. Click here. Then I just go to place above this column. Now you can see here. I place here. Just place it here now. Then one more time, I'll just select this one, move and click this point, place it perpendicular. That is better. Shift right click and go to perpendicular. You will get it perfectly like this. Press Ctrl 2 in your keyboard. You can see very clearly. Now, if you want, you can cut and remove this sheet and all. Then you can extend this sheet up to outside. That also possible. Or you can extend this location. You have you have to extend, and you ha you can use any other flashing also above above this one. And we can collect full water inside this gutter. Anyone you can do it. Now we are going to do it. I just remove this sheet, this location, and I just take this gutter outside. I am taking water outside. Just go to the concession line, select here line and click this point and click here. Similar way need to create here also. Click this point, click here. Now we can cut and remove this one. Go to polygon cut, select this point, then click any location and click here. Now I just go to this column press shift and right click go to the perpendicular you will get it like this similar way you can shift right click perpendicular go to this line you will get it perpendicular press the mouse center button you can cut and remove like this similar way you can cut and remove this one also this is coming next side one side we cut and remove next side also we have both if you double click here you can see here depth is six 60 meter. So in the next side also you will get it front and rear side. So now I just go to again polygon cut select this one. Select this one and click here and click here. Then shift right click go to the perpendicular and I just click here. Shift right click perpendicular select this one. Press the mouse center button. Here it is removed perfectly.
similar way we need to remove cut and remove this area also so i just go to polygon cut again select this one you can select like this together also possible now i just click somewhere else here and click here and click here and shift right click go to the perpendicular just place it here click here press the mouse center button here it is placed now we need to take this one out so we have small problem of this flashing if you want you can cut and remove this flashing also i just go to polygon cut select together like this then click any any location now i just click here approximately i just click here approximately and i click any location now i just go to this perpendicular shift right click go to the perpendicular you can click any perpendicular location now just click any location then finish with uh, this point press the mouse center button here it is cut and remove this flashing similar way we can cut and remove this also or you can select this one right click go to before that go to the view work plane parallel to view plane select this one right click copy special mirror just click this location and click here copy so now this one also cut and remove now if you go to the 3d view you can see very clearly so this area we cleared very perfectly so this one we need to increase this side so i just make it little bit increase starting one minus 1 meter you can see it will come out without any trouble so full water you can collect inside this gutter similar way we have to go to this side you can see here we have gap and all so just make it this side also 1000 enter so full water you will get it outside now you can use pipe and all down spot and all you can use it and you can collect the water down so this is the way you can create middle rain cutter for this rain cutter you can use if you need any additional support that also you can use it